you feel have developed in your game? What are the things that you felt have developed the most from, from fall when practice started through this point of December? Um, I feel like one of the things that uh, developed the most was just, I guess, um, my IQ in terms of like just spacing on the floor, you know, trying to move without the ball and just trying to be at the right spot at the right time. So, you know, uh, I can get the best opportunities. I feel like that's something that's, you know, that really uh, I kind of improved on. So. And then with, uh, you know, you're getting minutes here and there. What's Mike Woodson's message to you as far as, okay, here's what you need to do to, to have an even bigger role uh, moving forward? Um, just to be uh, consistent with uh, my performance. Um, you know, there's like some games where uh, I didn't really uh, show up and there's some games where I, I did like, um, for example, uh, some of the earlier games, you know, I was able to make impact on the game and some of the other games like Syracuse and the away games, like you know, I didn't really make that big of an impact and he let me know, you know what I mean? So uh he just let me know that uh uh he just let me know that um i have to come in you know make an impact and uh that will uh keep me on the floor so thanks man justin it's just keeping going on that i mean what do you how do you feel like the just change in offense and defense has, has helped your game in, in, in terms of, you know, Coach Woodson's system. Uh, how do you think that's played to your strengths? Has that allowed, you know, uh, I guess some parts of your game to come out more? Um, I feel like uh, Coach Woodson's new uh, offensive and defensive, you know, uh, what's, the, what's the word, like philosophy uh, has been able to, you know, uh, amplify my, uh, my game. Uh, because I feel like with his uh, defense, um, like like one thing that he says on his defense uh, that he uh, um, that he implemented was like so every time like the ball's on like the strong side, the weak side, it's supposed to be like um, the rim, the slot, and the nail has to be filled. And I feel like uh, having that thing set up, uh, it's able uh, it's allowed us to guard a lot of different actions, regardless of what you know what's going on. And I feel like for me personally, like. Um, like we usually have like the bigger guy on the rim and uh, I feel like I'm able to, you know, make plays and, you know, at the rim defensively and uh, get out and guard uh, whoever's, you know, on the backside, whether it be like, you know, two, three, four, one, and I'm able to, you know, with my versatility, I'm able to get out and guard, but that's a defensively, but offensively, um, it's more free. Um, like, you know, there's a lot of uh, off ball movement going on. Like there's like a lot of different uh, opportunities or, different options for the point guard to you know make a play so um uh i feel like and like it's also a lot of opportunities to break off the play you know make a move you know depending on how i read the uh, the defender so that's something that i feel like uh, really uh, helped a lot as well kevin during the last few games uh you guys have shown flashes of high level play uh but sustaining it i guess for both halves has been maybe an issue um, how much of an emphasis is that the last in it for the next few games here in December? And um, is there anything you put your finger on or why, you know, it maybe hasn't sustained for a full 40 minutes? Um, I'm not really sure, you know, the reason why, you know, uh, that occurred. But uh, all I know is that um, uh, we, like, we are, like, talking about, you know, the, what happened, you know, uh, last game against Wisconsin it was a game that we should have won and we are learning from the experience so um you know like this this team is in like in, in, a, in a rebuild you know kind of a phase you know with coach Wilson coming as a new coach so I feel like um we're still gonna have some um some slip some slip ups which um it's kind of uh, kind of inev inevitable in the path of you know trying to be where we used to be at so I feel like um we're, we're learning though we're getting better uh each day we're getting you know we're trying to you know Bring back, you know, where was that? <clears throat> Tyler? Hey, Jordan, I hope you're doing well. Um, you had mentioned earlier in the season that you felt like Coach Woodson was giving you a lot of confidence. What what does he do or say to give you confidence? Um, like some of the things that he says and does to give me confidence is just in practice. Like every time, like, uh, I guess make a mistake or I do something that uh, – that wasn't, you know, written up, like, he would get on me, but after he would get on me, like, he would, like, let me know, like, this is, like, to help, you know what I mean? It's not, like, 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 one thing that he, he always say is, like, um, I'm just coaching, you know what I mean? Like, uh, so, like, 
regardless of how it comes out, you know, if it comes out like him yelling or anything like that, like he always ends it with, you know, I'm just coaching, you know what I mean? So it kind of like helped me out in terms of like, you know, he's coaching me. He just wants to, you know, wants me to do the best and he wants me to get better. So. Last question, Alex. Jordan, going back to something you said earlier, just paraphrasing here, it sounded like you said you've had games where you have shown up and games where maybe you felt like you haven't shown up. When Coach Woodson talks to you about that, like how do you process kind of what he's saying? And what, like when you mentally, like when you when you have a performance where you play really well and where maybe you don't play as well, do you think there's anything different in terms of your mental approach? Um, can, can you repeat that question again? Well, I'm just saying, like earlier, you mentioned you said you said um, that Coach Woodson has kind of talked to you about games where you play well, and then you have games where maybe you don't show up. Um, and then I'm just kind of curious, like what he says to you after that to try to maybe encourage you to move forward. And do you feel like when you when you're playing well, are you approaching the game mentally any differently than maybe when you don't play well? Um, not really. Like I feel like I always have the same kind of mental approach going into a game. But I guess uh, the, the difference of uh, me, like, I guess, not playing well, like, or just not showing up and me showing up as a, in terms of Coach Woodson, how he, you know, talks to me, I guess it's just like, uh, it's a good question, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. Uh, uh, all I can say is that I really just come into the game with the same kind of mental approach, really. Coach Wilson always, you know, tries to get me going, you know, saying like, you know, you know, go into the game with aggression, be, you know, make the smart plays and do all that kind of stuff. He's always trying to, you know, be positive. Uh, but like uh, sometimes, you know, I'm not going to always have, you know, an amazing game. It just happens, you know what I mean? So, but I, I always go into the game with the same kind of mental approach, you know, just trying to be aggressive and trying to make an impact on the game.